We know for sure that After Effects opens up endless possibilities, but if you want your logo animations to really stand out, mastering text animation is essential. In this video, I'm revealing the most popular and powerful text animation secrets you can use right now. Stick around until the end to level up your skills. We'll begin with our first technique, which is the fade-in effect. Start by opening text properties and selecting animate. Then choose opacity. Set the opacity to zero to make the text invisible. Next, open the range selector and set the offset to negative 100%. Create a keyframe, then move the timeline indicator two frames forward and change the offset to 100%. Now, open advanced settings and choose ramp up. Finally, set both ease high and ease low to 50%. And that's it. You now have a smooth fade in effect for your text. Let's move on and create the bounce effect. Start by selecting position from the animate menu. Adjust the second position value to negative 100. Next, select range selector and add a keyframe, setting the offset value to negative 100. Move the timeline indicator two frames forward, create another keyframe and set the offset to 100. Open advanced settings and choose ramp down. Adjust the ease high to 100%. Then select animator one and duplicate it. Set the second position value to 50%. In advanced settings, adjust ease high and ease low to 50%. Duplicate the animator again, and this time set the second position value to negative 10. Press U to reveal all keyframes, then offset them in the timeline to create a layered effect. Now you'll see a smooth bounce effect. The next technique is a popular and widely used effect. We're going to reveal text using a mask. Create a rectangle and place it directly below the text, then move it to the bottom of the timeline. In effects and presets, find the set matte effect and apply it to the text layer. Select the matte layer and enable invert matte. Finally, make the rectangle invisible. And now you can animate the text position or rotation for a revealing effect. The next technique is the wiggle effect, which can be very useful for logo animations. Start by selecting an animator and adding the rotation property. Then in selector options, add wiggly. Set position values to 10% and 20%, and adjust the second rotation value to 10%. In more options, adjust the anchor point by changing the grouping alignment value to align with the center of each letter. Finally, in the wiggly selector, set wiggles per second to three. And there you have it, our animation is ready. And for the final trick, we're going to create a rolling text animation. Start by creating a red rectangle for each letter and positioning it below the text layer. Then click on the letter layer and draw another shape to create a mask. Repeat the process for each letter. Next, move each letter below its corresponding shape and set the matte option for each letter to match its shape. Now, search for the CC Repetile effect and apply it to the letter. In the effect properties, set expand down to 2000 and expand up to 2000. Copy and paste the CC Repetile effect onto each letter layer. Then, press P to open the position properties. Add keyframes for the end position, then adjust the start position keyframe for each letter, alternating some letters moving in from above and others from below for a more dynamic animation effect. Ease the keyframes by pressing F9, then adjust the speed in the graph editor for smoother motion. Enable motion blur by clicking the blur icon. And that's it. Our rolling text animation is complete. Creating text animations is great, but we can enhance them with a 3D effect. Let me show you how to create a fake 3D effect for logo marks that you can use right away. Create a rectangle and search for the roundness option. Set a keyframe for the start position and adjust the roundness. Then adjust the rectangle edges again for the end position. Press Y and move the anchor point to the corner. Be sure to click the 3D icon to make it a 3D object. Next, create an ellipse for the handle of your door. Duplicate the rectangle, disable the roundness, and deselect fill, selecting stroke for making the frame of a door. For the door layer, expand the properties and add three keyframes for Y rotation. One for the starting position, another one as the door goes inside, and the last for when it opens up. Ease the keyframes by pressing F9 and adjust the graph editor for smoother animation. With this fake 3D effect, you can create any 3D motion you want for your logo animation. Creating simple shapes and enabling the 3D option is essential for crafting eye-catching logo animations that you often see on the internet. This technique allows for depth and dimension, making your logos stand out and capture viewers' attention. 
That's it for today's video. Subscribe if you want to be the best. See you soon.